Is it still snowing? How do I keep warm? Well, I can tell you how I keep warm because this week has been so cold. My goodness, it's been so cold here in the UK that it snowed um, and it snowed from Sunday afternoon right the way through to Monday. Um, and we haven't had not had that much snow here in the UK for 18 years, uh, which would have made me about 15 years old. Um, but it was really nice. I mean, it was so bad that public transport grinded to a halt, which was really good because it meant there was no work on Monday. So the I think the tubes were down, the uh, buses were down, and uh, so were the overhead trains. The DLR was um, still running though, so I'm glad I didn't actually work uh, in the Docklands. So, but it was really nice. We were watching all the kids playing their snowballs and snowmen, and uh, not that I went out in it because it. As uh, so much as I love looking at the snow, it's very picturesque. I tend to get quite muddy and wet, and oh, it's just oh, too cold for me. Um, and as it is, I live right at the top of the hill, and I did on Tuesday slide from the top to the bottom of the hill on my backside, which I still have a bruise from, which is a bit still quite sore from from Tuesday. But that took me three hours to get into work on Tuesday, but at least I did get in in the end. Um, but it did get me thinking. Oh my gosh, what did you used to wear when you were small and how did you keep warm um, throughout your time? Now, I remember this one thing that I absolutely hate and it is my pet hate. My mother used to make me wear mittens and I hated mittens with a vengeance. I had these, um, these navy farewell mittens and I used to try and get rid of them and I used to try and hide them from her and she was my mother, Jewish mother, I mean, she's the sort of person, Jewish mums, they feed you up and at the same time as they feed you, they give you a spoonful of guilt. Now, my mother, she used to, um, what she did to stop me from losing my mittens, she used to um, tie one against the other with a piece of shearing elastic she sewed through and she'd put them through one arm of my coat, right the way through the other and, they, and used to come out the other end here and they dangled from my wrist like this. And it used to just drive me mad. I'd be like flicking my arm and there's these blimmy mittens hanging off of my coat, um, out the sleeves of my coat. And I wonder I have a tick. It's because of the bloody mittens. Now, I absolutely hate mittens because they, they are some form of masochistic torture. What person in their right mind sticks all their fingers together so you could just use your thumbs? What is that all about? Why are mittens? I never understood it. No, I mean, but I do love, I do love winter clothing. I mean, I love my coats. I love the accessories that go with it. I absolutely adore lovely winter woolly hats and um, and earmuffs. Not that I actually have a pair, but they are in season at the moment. And they are in vogue, aren't they? So um, I think a trip to Selfridges may be appropriate. Um, but yeah, I do really, really like, um, I like winter wear. And one thing I did wear, and I was sporting this week, were my Wellington boots. Now, um, I'm going to show you them. I have them here. Well, one of them anyway. And I am so proud of my Wellington boots. Look at them. Oh, my God. They're so lovely. And they're cow print. And I know that the people here watching at work, and they're probably thinking she is some daft ape for going on about her Wellington boots. But they were a present. They were a present for me from a farmer. And I loved him so much. And I'm going to tell you the story of how Angel got her boots. Now, they're from Wiseman's Dairy. Now, I'm going to show you. But I don't think, looking in the screen here, it looks like everything goes back to front. I don't know if it comes out normal for you guys. But they're from Wiseman's Dairy. So, if you are listening, the, um, the dairy farmer from Wiseman's Dairy, this is the story. Now, um, obviously... I've worked in my company for a very long time and I've done several jobs 
there and one of the jobs that I did I worked with the events team and I was very very fortunate enough to do some wonderful projects with them and work um, in some beautiful places across the country and um, I used to work on the on all of the agricultural shows now this is a must I am a city girl and um, I don't like anything to do with the country well I do as far as it's pretty but I start hyperventilating if I get in fresh air. I mean, it's so bad. I need my CO2 admission. If I'm far, far, far away from the city and I'm there for too long, I need to start sucking on an exhaust pipe just to get the CO2 admissions into my system. But the agricultural shows are something else. Now, there are quite a lot of them um, all around the country and they start up um, towards the end of Easter uh, into the summer and get if you can get to go to one of those now we'll see if i put the link to the sites um at the end of the of the reel here there's so many the ones that we used to do there was one uh, that i did which was the highland one the royal highland which is in edinburgh there is the royal show which is in warwickshire and there is also the um the welsh show um now i'm going to have to look over here to see how it's pronounced because I need to be able to do it properly and I've written it phonetically. It's in Aberystwyth. So if you're listening from Wales, if I hope I've said that properly, Aberystwyth is where the Royal uh, the um, the Royal Welsh Show is. And that's in the middle of nowhere, but it's absolutely beautiful. It's in the middle between South and North Wales. And um, because they didn't want to offend one or the other, it's right in the middle. So everybody has to go miles and miles away and it's it's absolutely miles away from the from anywhere really and you end up living in a little uh, little cottage um farmhouse and oh get yourself down to one of the agricultural shows this year because i absolutely loved it and um this is a story of uh, of how angel got her wellington boots now i wouldn't usually have wellington boots not really something i would do and being a city girl, I'm very pretentious. The sort of thing I wear when I was working on the stand at the agricultural show was something like this. Now, these are so beautiful, aren't they? But look, look at this. Heels. And the farmers, they used to laugh at me because here I was, totting around, this little city girl, flirting away in my heels. I was flirted always, and you know, like me, I like to flirt. And I would sink into the mud no, I'd sink into the mud all the time and what ended up happening was that I'd get one of the um, farmers very strong belly farmer and it, I, I'm not sure if it was I think it was the um, must have been the world show it was so muddy and I sunk right the way down that he actually picked me up and he carriage lifted me to the stand um, which I quite liked <laughs> and they said to me why don't you get yourself a pair of Wellington boots and I was like Sorry, I don't do Wellington boots. Not unless they're designer anyway. And um, do, do, so, do, can you get Dolce & Gabbana boots? Well, now you can. But then I, when I worked um, on the egg shows, they didn't do them. And I think Hustlers are a brand now. Oh, am I allowed to say that on here? Hustlers are a brand that you can buy. Um, and they weren't really uh, trendy enough back then. Um, but these these... So these dairy farmers came up to me and uh, at the end of the week and said to me, do you know what, we've watched you every day coming in to the, um, into the show and walking to your stand and uh, we've had, some of us had to carry you and we've laughed at you falling over and sinking in the mud um, but we want to, want to give you these, these for you and they produce these these beautiful boots and I've had them for such a long time and wherever I go in them and wherever I walk if I'm walking over Blackheath um, or in the mud or in the snow everybody loves them and they all comment on them now they probably think I'm absolutely crazy but or a mad cow but I love them people love them and I'm so thankful and grateful for my dairy farmer for giving me my cow print Wellington boots. <laughs> so that's what happened. That's the story. And that's what I'm going to tell you for this week. Um, you won't see me out in the snow. Not that there's much snow now. But um, and the only snowball I'll be throwing back is uh, this snowball here down my throat. So um, t 
till next week, let's make a date of it. Mm.